Hello, Veronica. Mr. Sean again with another story. Hope things are going well for you and your family. And having to stay home and not be in school. Sometimes I guess that was probably fun for a little while, but then it, it's tough to not do what you normally do. So hopefully think you found things to do that have kept you busy and having some fun. So today's story is The Bubble Storm, written by Anne Harth. Ooh, looks like she's having fun in the tub. Do you like taking baths, or do you prefer taking showers? I know when I was young, I liked to take a bath because I could play in the bathtub with all my had boats and submarines and all kinds of stuff, and I always enjoyed doing that. I don't know if you do that kind of stuff, but it's fun. The bathtub was warm. Denisha's boats floated through bubble tunnels. Her ducks climbed bubble mountains. Denisha's bubble world was quiet. What do you think she's getting ready to do? Here comes the wind, Denisha said. She wobbled her knees. The bubbles swayed, the boats rocked, and the ducks bobbed. Uh-oh, looks like she's tossing the ducks right out of the tub. Woo! She's really making a storm, it looks like, or starting to. Looks like there's bubbles coming up. Then Denisha sat still. The water calmed. Her boats floated through bubble tunnels. Her ducks climbed bubble mountains. Her bubble world was quiet again. It is. The water's flat. That means it's calm. Here comes the wind again, Denisha said. It's getting stronger. She swished the water with her hands. The water swirled. The boats rocked and the ducks bobbed. Whew. It's always fun making the water move around with your hands and legs and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I tried to make a, they call it a whirlpool, where you, you your hand goes around real fast and it makes like a tornado in the water almost. Tried that before or not. It's fun to do. Then Denisha sat still again. The water was calm. Her bubble world was quiet. Okay, Denisha said, this time I'll make the wind even stronger. She kicked her feet, the water splashed, the boats rocked, the ducks bobbed. Woo! I would say they more than rocked and bobbed. It looks like they're getting moved all over the place. and She's really kicking up the water, isn't she? Woo! And then Denisha sat still. The water was calm. Her bubble world was quiet again. Look out, boats. Look out, ducks. A big bubble storm is coming. Uh-oh, what's she going to do now? Whew. Denisha wobbled her knees. She swished her hand. She kicked her feet. Water splashed. Bubbles Flew, the boat sank, and the ducks rolled over. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oof. Denisha. Mom opened the bathroom door. What's going on in here? She looked at the puddle on the floor. She picked up the wet mat. How did you get water all over the bathroom? Uh-oh. Denisha had too much fun. Denisha sat very still. She looked at the puddle. There was a bubble storm, Mom. I'll go get the mop, Mom said. Then you can clean up the bubble storm. While Denisha waited, she saved her boats and turned the ducks over. Her legs didn't wobble. Her hands didn't swish, her feet didn't kick, 
Her bubble world was quiet until the next storm. Oof. Yep, so when you make your own mess, you need to clean it up yourself. You can't expect someone else to clean it up. You need to do it yourself. It's called taking responsibility. That's a good thing. That helps you out later in life. All right, where is Denisha? Where does Denisha's, what does Denisha's mom go to get? What causes the floor to get wet? Who is going to clean up the bubble storm? Well, I would say Denisha is where? She's in the bathroom. Yeah, and where in the bathroom is she? In the bathtub. Yeah. So what does mom go get? Yep, she's going to get a mop. Who's going to clean up? Is it going to be mom? No way, Jose. It's going to be Denisha. And how did the puddle get on the floor? What was the name of the story? The Bubble Storm. Yep, that was... Pretty crazy. All right, Veronica, that's the story for today. I hope things are going well for you and for your family. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.